This is a quick tutorial on how to pivot your data three different ways in Tableau. What we have in here is a random data set. I've generated this data set using Mockaroo as well as generating random numbers in Excel. And what we have in here is a really wide data set. So you can see that all of the dates are spread across the columns. And we also have some fictional quantity. It's going to be challenging to analyze this data set because you have multiple columns pertaining to the same thing. For example, all of these columns right here, they pertain to the date. But at the same time, you don't have one field that just gives you the dates. These are currently field names. These are going to be your measure names, which means you can't use these fields to slice up your data by date. So let's try to connect to this in Tableau and see what we get. Let's drag this file onto Tableau and let's connect to groceries. We need to do a little bit of cleaning first before we can move forward. In here, we are seeing field names F1, F2, F3, and that's because Tableau cannot easily determine where the fields are. And that is because in our original data set, the first row has merged fields. It has a lot of empty columns, empty rows. And this is why Tableau is auto-generating a lot of these fields. So to clean that up, let's use the data interpreter. Now onto pivoting our data. The first way is to pivot the data using the preview window. So in here, let's just minimize our metadata window. In here, we can select all the fields that we want to pivot. And pivoting means we're going to transform all of these columns into rows. So we're going to select all of the fields. I've selected the first one. I'm going to press Shift so that I can select the very last one. It highlights all of these fields. And somewhere in the header, when we right click, we should have an option to pivot. Once we pivot, all of the column names will now go into its own field or its own column, and all of these values will go into another column. So once we pivot, what we need to do now is to rename our fields and change the data type as appropriate. In this case, I'm going to change this to date. The data type is also going to be a date. And for the pivot field values, whatever those values are before, we're going to rename it to something that's more recognizable. In this case, let's pretend that this is quantity. Now for our products, we also have products right here. Just rename that. The second way or the second place where we can pivot our data is through the metadata window. In the newer versions of Tableau, you can see the metadata window right beside the preview window. It is right here. In an older version of Tableau, you're not going to see it up front side by side with your preview. Instead, you're going to have to toggle this. So right now we have the preview window in here. If you click this icon right beside the sort field, then it's going to toggle between the preview window and the metadata window. So in the preview window, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. We're going to select all the fields that we want. And again, I'm going to select the first field, press shift all the way to the last and highlight anywhere in that field name. So right click, and you're going to have the option for pivot. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to rename our fields. So the pivot field name will now become the date. Let's also change the data type. And then pivot field values will become our quantity. And these are our products. The third way to pivot your fields in Tableau is to go directly to the sheet view. So when we open any new sheet, in the sidebar, it's going to be a very similar set of steps, but the user experience is going to be a little bit different. So in here, we're going to select again the very first field, press shift all the way to the end. But this time around, it's going to be a slightly different menu option. What we're going to see is the moment we right click all of these fields, we're going to see an option called transform. And that is where you're going to find pivot. Once we select it, same thing, we're going to rename on the drop down, rename this. This is going to be our date, making sure that we change our data type. Let's rename our product as well. And also adjust our quantity. So rename this field, pivot field values to quantity. And now we can start exploring our data. And that's the quick tip. I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you again next time.